Hello, it's Doug McGuff with Ultimate Exercise, Body by Science, and DrMcGuff.com. Coming with another video this week. The last one that I put up was uh, regarding hypertrophy and how it is a, a very negatively regulated side effect rather than something that your body seeks as an outright goal. Um, the response to that video was mostly positive, but there were a few people that seemed upset thinking that I was implying that if um, someone's goal was hypertrophy and it hadn't happened to the extent that they wished yet that they should simply just give up. Um, there's also some objections that were expressed that um, of the people that do exhibit a um, significant hypertrophic response to training, the vast majority of those people do so with a volume of training that's significantly higher than what I have personally recommended in Body by Science and just in communication in general. And that's true, that's absolutely true. And if you're one of these people that does have an exaggerated um, hypertrophy response, and you got that way with a volume of training that, higher, that is higher than what I recommend, then I say by all means, ignore what I'm saying, keep doing what you're doing. Um, but when I acknowledge that, you also have to acknowledge that also the vast, vast majority of people that have failed with resistance exercise to produce the results they were desiring also did so at a higher volume of training than what I recommend and usually a much higher volume of training than what I have recommended. So if one of these people that have followed you know, programs out of books, magazines, uh, off the internet or YouTube and you follow these programs and have not gotten the results that you want, don't just give up. What I would suggest that you do is to um, pursue a really consolidated program. Rest two weeks and then try a really consolidated program like a leg press, uh, under grip pull down, chest press, and maybe a couple accessory movements. Maybe a bicep tricep, maybe wrist curl wrist extension, maybe um, calf press and abdominal tacked onto big three. And your other workout could be like a deadlift uh, chest press um, a compound row and then two accessory movements. Something really abbreviated done at most twice per week, maybe once every fifth day. And then if you're one of these non-responding people, see if a consolidated workout like that moves the needle for you. If it does, you may have found hope for you to produce results where nothing else had worked. Conversely, if you are already a HIIT trainer that has produced some results that way, and you're constantly wondering whether a higher volume of training can produce better results for you, then I say give it a try. Expand your volume significantly. If you're working out in a HIIT program once every five days or once a week, go to twice a week. Um, increase your volume by 25%. Or if you want, really jump your volume and see what happens. If you do get some positive response, I would caution you to pretty quickly dial back on that because we've got to remember that the response is actually generated by the body during a recovery period. A spike in volume may be the kind of stimulus that will get the ball rolling for a period of time, but that'll quickly reach a point of diminishing marginal utility and you'll have to back off some. But for people that are doing HIT that are dissatisfied with the amount of hypertrophy they're getting, by all means, try higher volume training. If it doesn't work, we'll still be here the world's not going to burn down or nothing bad's going to happen if you give it a try. But the more important message I have is that higher volume training, while it has produced most of the people that have an exaggerated hypertrophic response, it's also produced probably at a ratio of 10,000 to 1 all of the failures as well. We can never forget the invisible graveyard when we're making our assessments about the efficacy of different kinds of approaches. So just some food for thought on the tail end of my last video. But for right now, you guys go out in the world and do some dope shit.